It's been raining all night and the streets have flooded. There's rivers flowing down the street. <laughs> You're so pretty. Look at that. We're gonna, see. We're gonna get baptized. <laughs> I hope that guy gets flat or he gets stuck somewhere. Sure. And that one too. This one does right this one right back. Oh my god. Someone better I'm gonna tell my uncle, can you give me right across the street today? What across what street? Like right here, this is the street that I would cross where that light is at. There's yeah. No... Oh wait, but we're going left, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like when I walk. Yeah. That's how it looks. It's flooded like this. Hey. They're like motor boats going through the lake. They're not like cars going through the street. Damn. So flooded. I don't know. You might have to try to take the freeway now that I think about it. But just be careful because they're going to have to understand that it's raining and the roads and everything is really closed. We came, we came through Varner, but I wouldn't be surprised if they start closing it. I'm sure if you come right now, it won't be closed yet. We're already right here. We're already right here. We have to turn. I'm already late to work. Like halfway. We're tu we're turning in right now. I'll see you in two minutes. All right. Bye. Okay, you can you can have your daddy buy you something to eat because Jake's where we don't have enough time since your daddy's already here. Oh my God! Look at that car. Whoa! He's so deep in the water. I don't know how I'm gonna get home. I can't drive. I can't drive through that. I'm gonna have to go around. Oh, no, I'm gonna come out this way. I'm gonna come out this way and go up to the freeway. Yeah, when the water is covering your tires, that's when you know it's too high because then it can flood your engine. Yeah, the trucks are in a better position. I mean, at least I have a bigger car, but... Oh, God, this is another big puddle that I have to get through. Look at that. Oh, I'm so... Gee, thanks, dude. I'm so scared of getting flooded. I'm not going to be able to get bought back to Plum Springs. I'm... Oh, look at that. I literally feel the water under my... Hitting the bottom of my car through my feet. There's broken cars on the side of the road. I can't see shit. So, yeah, um, this is basically what happens when it rains on, rains on the desert for 12 hours. The rain started last night uh, at about 11 p.m. It's now 8.30 a.m. and it's been raining nonstop. And that's how bad it gets. There's rivers of water flowing through our streets. This this street is actually not too bad. I just dropped my friend off and her daughter at work because she couldn't catch the bus. And um, there's these dips in the road and these dips turn into rivers. Oh, it's crazy. I've never seen anything like this. When it rains in Europe, the water just... I mean, for, for this to be... For, for this... For the weather to get like this in Europe, it would have to rain for like two weeks because the water just sinks in the soil. And here in the desert, the soil is hard, it's rock, so there's the water has nowhere to go. So it just creates these rivers. I'm scared to go faster than 40 miles an hour. I guess I'm going like 43 miles an hour or whatever because if I hit a puddle, it might throw me my car might, you know, spin around and I might lose control of my car. But the intersections are the worst.
Okay, now we are in between Cathedral City and Palm Springs. I'm just trying to get back to town so that I can uh, park in a safe space, probably by the casino, and just wait it all out in my car. I'm just gonna read books. I might go to the downtown library. I might go to Starbucks to use the internet. And I'm just gonna wait it out in my car and read all day. and watch Netflix. There's nothing else I can do in such a, it's, there's nothing else I can do in such weather. Look at that, Ew, damn. Some deep mud. Oh, I'm so scared of getting stuck. Well, I made it to uh, my town, we're in Palm Springs, and now I just have to uh, 